Hey Marlena, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband, Rob, on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in, and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be talking about will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So your website looks fantastic. I absolutely love the design of this site. I love the old timey feel to it. It's super organized and user friendly, amazing job. My only suggestion with your site would just be to add in some more content onto this homepage. Um, we do of course wanna make sure that we appease Google by having those 1500 words, but also those keywords that I mentioned are a huge component it, and that's going to help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So next up is citations, and citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack, and a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed, and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10, and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving on to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section, and the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop, and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to your site but their link's gonna be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other um, hemp companies, other CBD companies, really anything else within your industry to send something back to your site because that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful as well as more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So currently your site has one referring domain, which is giving it one backlink and getting you found for one keyword, but none of these things are still driving any traffic to your site. But here's one of the competitors. So they have 175 referring domains, giving them 91.3 thousand backlinks, getting them found for a little over a thousand keywords, and all of that is driving about 3,200 people to their site, and that's just monthly. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using, and I can give you some examples of good ones and hopefully give you some ideas of things to use too. So um, this is a good one. It's very short, sweet, to the point, but it's very powerful. A CBD shop near me. So this is a good one because it's listing the service or industry, but then it's also listing that near me portion, which is going to automatically revert to wherever the person searching is located. Um, when you have a brick and mortar store that you need to drive people to, you wanna make sure that your keywords are targeting your service area. That way, when someone comes across you in their search results, you're going to be close enough to them where they can actually visit your store. When you're selling products on your website, though, you can really target the entire United States if you'd like to. Um, that's just going to put you in front of more people and someone can just simply go on your website to purchase whatever it is that they're looking for. Um, so with that being the case, too, uh, you'd be able to do something... Like here, here we get a little bit more specific. So 300 milligram CBD, and then you could put something like Colorado. Um, that would be a great thing to be able to use. 
But again, as long as you have those two components, which are the service or product or industry, and then a location, um, that's going to be drilled down enough to where you're going to be able to target the right kind of people and drive people um, to your website as well. So I will not bore you and have us go through all of these keywords, but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into the content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in the same place as they are. Um, so like we talked about earlier, too, always making sure that you're adding on to that as well, though, uh, because that is what keeps you on top of your competitors. And that's also the kind of thing that gets you ranked on Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Marlena. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Dub Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks so much again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your day.